Do you want to lock the door? Yeah, I already did. Okay. <laughs> to approach your throat? Yeah, I don't care if you okay. come. Well, I pee in front of my friends all the time. I wouldn't even have this shot if it wasn't for the camera. Um, hang on, maybe I should stop talking while I have this on. Or they're going to play it and they're going to hear me peeing in the background. I wonder what the scale says I weigh now. Just What's don't. Going on? I don't know what. I, don't, I need to talk to you specifically. Yeah? Well, talk to me. Okay. These nomination picks, these people that are going up for nomination yep. are Danny and I and you, right? Yeah. What do you think? The boys trip me out. They trip the boys are tripping me out, <sighs> thinking that, that we need to get rid you know? They're like, okay, A, me and Anil were close, like, in a way that I feel that, like, he would have never, like, I, I, need to, I need to wipe my hands off, um, in a way that I thought that he would never backstab me or anything like that, because, and then I just went and backstabbed and put him up on the block. But the only reason I did that is because of all the freaking rumors that were going around about how okay, so much he was talking shit. I don't know much because I wasn't on the inside, I was on the outside. Okay. And from the outside, it really looked like Emmett got Anil here. Like... I don't know where Anil came from, but I think the boys screwed you up. Like, and now I don't know. But they were saying that he was telling me all these things that it were so serious. Like, he's telling me through like tears that he was like, that he was like tight with you and really liked you. And I was too. You. Yeah. I felt like that. And then everybody liked him. So he, he's like, am I really getting kicked out because I'm likable? I'm like, no. I yeah. feel like everyone's saying he's talking, going back and forth between the groups and trying to round up. You know, Suzette and Gary and, and Danielle and whoever. Not Do you have a do that? Uh-uh. Well, you can tell me anything. You, you can tell me things like when you don't agree. I won't, I'm not afraid. I'm not talkative, so it's like, I don't want to give anybody a hard time like that. I don't right. talk. I wouldn't even tell him what, who told me mm -hmm. anything, and I wouldn't even tell him what they told me, and I, and I felt like so shitty about that. Right. But I'm like, you know what? I'm not getting any. Well, Anil, I mean, gossipy now, but Anil's like, he wanted to run to you and tell you that you have been the only name Gary has ever said since day one. But Anil's like, I can't do it, Liza, because I look like the rat bitch who's on the way out, who's starting rumors. Mm -hmm. But Gary's like, what are you saying here? I believe that. So that's like, why Gary got it. I think he's an ex. I was supposed to be Gary Vayner. I know. And then Gary Vayner. I know. Oh, and then they flipped you at the last minute. Did they? This week doesn't matter. I'm. At this point, I think, um, unfortunately, I think Danielle has to go. Okay. Because I she's clearly so tight with Gary. She, she screwed up this week. We made her feel safe, so she acted natural. And unfortunately, her natural behavior is to pair with Gary. And Gary wants, Gary doesn't want us. Gary wants our boys, and we need them right now. I know, I don't. And then I'm like, is, is Liza still in the same? And, but yeah, because we, we were talking about, you know, the girls, you and I just said their own back. Um, like you and I, period. Unfortunately, being with teams with Danielle and Tyler, they're such, they're so volatile. Like, whatever way the wind blows, they're like sippy and snappy, and like there's nothing sort of like controlled about them. Okay, well, we just need to focus on our own game right now. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, I'm ski I'm like the boys have a final four of these boys. And then we'll be four boys. And then they're going to be yeah. like, fuck. Boom, boom. You know? That's why we need to have our own backs just in case. I'm not saying I wouldn't mind going to the final Except, four, you know. Um, I don't know. Don't ever underestimate the power of a woman because though Oh, I'm in the diary room talking about peripheral power, you <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so the boys, the three showman boys, they all stand there and they go, Yeah, I'd cut Jill in fourteen seconds, yeah, I'd cut Liza, no problem, yeah, I'd cut Topaz, no problem. They are all shook. Like they are straight tripping. Like, but they're not gonna. No they're not gonna. Uh, yeah. Our cuddle buddies are. And you know what? Like you and I, I'm telling you, if like, let's say we threw up showmances, Tom and Liza on the block, Jill and Emmett on the block, Topaz now on the block. Just to win every time. Do you fucking think the girls are going home? As long as we have these boys, we have a shield. Really? You think? I don't know. I feel like I'm being talked about or some shit. Pretty good it's one competition. It's the second eviction of this very long game. Yeah. And. Even though I don't necessarily think it's in our best interest, I think we, it's a numbers game, and we have to get out these little numbers. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm not concerned about alliances right now. Yeah. I'm concerned about popping off, like, the randoms. But then right. once we're down to final line, we're going to... I'm just scared that the boys are going to overpower the girls. to get Danny on our side. I thought, okay, save her. And I did talk to her, and I felt safe with her. Like, she's like, if I ever pull up, I'm never going to trust anyone. But at the same time, she could just be sitting there and be talking to her. 
Well, I think actions speak louder than words. So even though Danny made me feel safe, and honestly, she made me feel like we had a private conversation at Violet Houston's day one. Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. And I do, I do not think I'm Danielle's target. But unfortunately, Danielle has aligned herself with someone who has clearly said my showman's name out loud ten times. Like, I can't have you entering this house. I can't be the one who killed him. You know? He'd be your help. Like, I don't think you, me, Emmett, and Tom are going to find four or anything. No. But I think we're really in the wrong place. That's a lot of brawn and a lot of brains and a lot of, like, connection going on there. Because, like, not only do we have showmances, but there's bromances. Like, you and I are tight and they're tight. Knows me and you are like, I know. I like it that way. I do too. Yeah, that's why we don't. Because we look like each other's biggest threat. Yeah. So I'm sure when a couple in the diary room, I'm like, I'm like, who they ask me who I, I don't even want to talk about this. Who I'd like to build a pile together? I'm like, Lila. (laughs) (laughs) Can you imagine if girls took this though? I would love it. Why? Our boys are huge targets. Okay. Which means just it's weird because they sort of protect us. You know, like if even if they put the showmances up. So, Emmett is like kind of like everyone wants. I mean, like he's a snake. He's stirring up shit. He's. I never said anything bad about Emmett. Just for the record, I you, uh, the house confused me because now I'm like, what have we been saying? But I never felt unsafe with him. Did he? Did you? Did he? Like what's? He's been telling lies though, which is. <laughs> the walls start to rumble. <laughs> I feel like there's a roller coaster out there. Okay, so right, I just want to know what what team you were on. Team Leroy, Team Daniel. Team Leroy, Dan, get Daniel. Daniel. All yesterday. Oh, yesterday. She, Gary was unpacking. Gary was cleaning some shit. I'm one of those like big fast talking bitch ever. First of all, like this girl. They, keep in mind too, you're in a tough position because your sister's kid is on the floor. Like they both come to you crying. I mean crying like I'm their mom. Who? I've seen, like, I feel like a mommy. Danielle thinks she's up there because of the... Oh, she thinks she's safe with the game kid and so she's crying about how she misses people at home and how, you know, she's just having anxiety issues with it. But, like, they're our children. They're the 19 and 20-year-old of the yeah. house. And they both come to me crying. No game talk. No, how do I say myself? Just, like, mommy, hold me. And I'm all like, I know, honey. You know, for a reason, you know, you go with your time. I'm like, whatever's on the other side of that door for me, like, that's your destiny. I'm like, Who is it? What's the code word? We need a camera. I cannot lock me out of this conversation. Oh. I was like, in the I was like who is it? I thought it was.